Hello everyone, and um, in this video I'll be talking about a modded 3x3 three three I've been working on. So, this, as you can see, is a WRM V10, it looks a bit weird. To begin with, I can show you here that it, it does make standard 3x3 three three moves. But it is a bit different because when I, with one hand here, try to move the middle slice, you will see, see that the out layer actually stays. And this applies for all of the, the slices here. It is a bit odd, but why? Well, this does mean when you are solving with one hand that we do not need table abuse to, to do this move. As you can see, I'm not using it yet. I can still do M and E slices and do something like a dot case very efficiently. If I want to do something like a wide turn, then well, all I need to do is to push on both the middle and the right layer here to move both of them at the same time. So this is a very weird puzzle. And Besides one-handed turning, it can also be used for something like two-handed and three-blind uh, solving, where you simply want the outer layers to be uh, slower than the inner layers. So how this works on a, on a more of a conceptual scale, I will show here. So on a standard 3x3, three uh, we are able to control the friction between the outer layers and the middle layers. This is B and C, and they are both, well, both the same because of the symmetry. And uh, A here, so is the connection between the outer layers directly, but it is always equal to zero on a standard cube. We have no straight connection. connection. But on this 3x3 three three that I have modified, it actually does have some friction and I'm able to adjust it to the extent that we achieve this effect, which allows for more control and moves that can be done with one handed and then turning, but also, well, other kind of turning as well. And that's where all of this, uh, the potential here, I believe exists. And I believe it is a, a fairly new construction. I haven't really been able to find anything else. I haven't heard anything from people I've shown this and but it is not a completely new concept there are other cubes out there with a, a similar design and a, a similar effect but I believe this is the third time someone has made this for a 3 by 3 and for the purpose of speed solving and utilizing this feature to our advantage but how, how is this achieved then well the outer layers are connected by themselves and the only pieces that sit in the outer layers are the corners. So essentially the corners are connected to each other like a two by two that has then been expanded and the edges and centers has been filled in between. So this is what leads to more control over how the cube turns we, because we essentially have two three by threes that we can each adjust independently in a way. So to show you how it looks on the inside, the center pieces here, as, as you can see, they are not connected to anything in, in particular. So we will have to uh, open them up and uh, as you can see here, nothing inside. And, but if we do look closer, we can see a screw inside. So if we can get in there, start loosening it. So we are now disassembling the internal two by two here that, that holds everything together. I will try to not completely take this apart. So on the inside here, we have a key 
key shape that I have sanded down to the size of a WRM V10 core. And that's the part that holds everything together because these are the the uh, corners of that key chain are then have them been glued to the V10 corners. So this is essentially how the core is constructed and what allows for this weird free moving slice turning. But it is it doesn't also mean that this version is heavily fragile. It is just a proof of concept. So the purpose of this video here is to, to showcase the idea and the, the basics behind it. And, and also talk about the uh, the potentials and how we can see here we can see that uh, the corners have broken off. I should have used some form of milliput to fill in to, to create a stronger connection here between them. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping to, to find people who are a bit more skilled than me who can help in constructing a, um, a functional version of this that can actually be used properly when, when speed solving. Because this version doesn't turn well enough for that. And besides, of course, these corners being very poorly attached, because I've had to sand down this this 3x3, three three. it is uh, incredibly thin in many places, which leads to stability issues, and um, I have also not been able to fit in any springs, so there's no proper corner cutting or any proper uh, performance here. But obviously the V10 and the key keychain weren't exactly made for this purpose, so uh, the hope in my view is that we can find a way to construct this that creates a, a lot more stable cube and I believe it is perfectly uh, viable because none of this is particularly weird we you know we build a 2 by 2 we attach the 3 by 3 corners to it and then we fill in the rest uh, it is also should be noted here that part of why the V10 was chosen as the the outer shell here is because of the this lip design that causes the centers to stay in, uh, inside and not fall out, as well as the relatively uh, roomy inside that allowed me to put the this key keychain inside. But, and uh, yeah, but until we have been able to make a, a more proper version, we uh, have yet, we we cannot really say how exactly useful this is. But I do believe. There is a lot of potential here and a, a potential to really, well, reshape uh, how a lot of events work, mainly one-handed solving, because this is uh, an entirely new mechanism, to my knowledge. And that, to me, is incredibly exciting. Hopefully, you watching this will be uh, will feel inspired and Please leave me any opinions and ideas on how this can be further improved and what can be used as, as perhaps as, as base puzzles to construct this. Uh, or uh, if you have some other idea on how we can really push this further and create something that can actually be used in competitions to solve. Because it should be legal for WCA. This construction is uh, similar to the principles of the, the Rubik's. 5x5 five five and 4x4, four four, they achieve the same effect to an extent, though in those cases it is not uh, really desirable. The GAN 5x5 five five is also similarly constructed, it's a 3x3 three three extended and then has its gap filled in between. This is a 2x2 two two that's been extended and had its gap filled in between, so... And I don't really think that there's any uh, debate whether or not it's, uh, it's legal for WSA. Um, but that is also part of why I hope that we can uh, continue working further on this and create a proper speed cube 3x3 three three with this kind of mechanism and abilities. And that's all for me. Have a good day.